people i am bharat acharya welcome to our new video so today in our coa course we are doing this highly requested topic comparison between a sys processor and a risp processor now the reason why students have been requesting this so much yes is because you've been seeing it in every exam whether you talk about competitive exams placement exams interviews etc or even your college exam in your subject of coa this is a highly repeated question it comes as a big distinguish there are lots of points even in multiple choice questions each of these points can be a question by itself now why is this so important for a student to know if you learning processors you need to understand what is the thought process behind making a processor these are two sys can risk are two ideologies some processors are created for flexibility like the one that is there inside your home in your home pc in your computer that processor has to handle a variety of tasks surfing the internet shopping uh, printing playing movies songs and so on so it here the kind of instruction set that you need has to be tremendously flexible to handle all these kinds of operations on the other hand think of the processor that manages your car that manages uh, brakes of your car or the air conditioner of your car or the airbags which has to just detect a collision and immediately open the airbag now these processors don't have to do a variety of operations all the operation that i told you about they don't have to do that these are designed to do a particular task so the instruction set and the architecture on which they are created is far more rigid but in that rigidness you get tremendously high performance the reaction time of the processor that handles the airbag or the traction control in a car is very low and a slow process over there will make the difference between life and death so over there more than flexibility performance is given uh, priority so based on that like i said there are two different ideologies that's what is risk and sysc I'm going to give you real world examples. I teach microprocessors, I teach microcontrollers. There are several risk processors that I teach, there are several sys processors. So I'm going to take you I'm going to give you actual examples of those processors and make you understand how which method fits best with which kind of processor. Okay? Now this video, the entire video will be there on my website www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. Click on the link, select the COA course, click the subscribe button. Once you make the payment the course becomes active. The course is with you for 6 months. You can watch all the videos as many times as you want. Plus you get PDFs with every video. The PDFs cover the whole theory that you need to write in the exam. So your theory matter is sorted with those PDFs. They are right above every video. While you're watching the video you want to see some explanation just click on the link view notes and the PDF opens. Plus you get PDFs of viva questions and PDFs of MCQ so that you're thoroughly prepared for the exam. Your MCQ is the new pattern that most universities have adopted and I really appreciate that. People can mug up big answers and write. But MCQs are a different ball game altogether. Unless your thought process and your concept is clear and you fast, you cannot really score well in a MCQ based exam. So all competitive exams whether it's GATE, ISRO, BRC or any other top exams of India, they all based on that model and that's I'm so happy that most universities also change their college exams to that model. That really tests us soon well. So we prepare you for MCQs and we keep updating questions over there so that you are in tune with the ones that have been asked in the recent years. Okay? Hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well.